So just to hear in We sing that. If you don't what I own and myself all of you who lie liars can you sing that my possessions and myself but a, we are going to pray the French Bible we are going to worship we are going to worship he did not say I'm going to sacrifice he said I'm going to worship I am going to worship hallelujah he said you God you are powerful God your throne is around praises I thank you because this man married that man I thank you because of the problem I thank you because it was his plan Wow! Hallelujah. Wow! Ah! Hallelujah. Zaburisha. Welcome you. Mukomere jambo ry'Imana mashi. Clap for the word of God. Let's read the word of God in Psalms. Psalms chapter 22. We will read verse 4 only. But you are wholly enthroned in the praises of Israel. Amen. But you are holy. Your throne is surrounded by the praises of Israelites. Ephesians. Chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Abefeso Making a melody in your hearts. There's no place you cannot thank God from because you do not leave your heart. When you sleep, you have it. In the road, you have it. In the bathroom, you have it. Sing to the Lord. Where? In your hearts. Mm. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. Amen. God, I thank you for standing before your people. I did not ask for this. Our brothers wanted me to come. But you who planned it and fulfilled it, it's you. Having chosen me to be your, your work today, I thank you. Let your will be done. I ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Allow me to thank God. 
Because he has allowed me to be with you. Praise God. Let me thank the leadership of the church. Among the few that still invite me, you are among them. I am left with a few. You have surprised me because most of them no longer want to hear this word. They once invited me in Uganda. I preached. When we went out, he told me we no longer talk about the sin of fornication. Because I had talked to them about chapter 5 and 7 of the book of Matthew, which has the gospel of Jesus Christ. It tells people to stop fornication. It told me in Uganda it no longer has weight. That's how it's going in other places. I think, amen. I think that everyone who still wants to hear the words of God from me. I thank my brothers that I saw here. May God bless you. I give her the, the word of God to, uh, I give her the word of God at her work please. May God bless you. Thank God. You are among the few people I recognized here. I am happy to see you, my friend. He led me in the government. I have to honor him every time. I'm thanking God in coming back with thanksgiving. Last time you invited me, now you have invited me again. I thank you so much. Because they said you who have testimonies, Pastor Mohammed, I thank God that I may deliver mine here. In 98, 92 or 93, I was classmates with our brother there. He was in a class above us. I knew how to sing in church. He was, he was not yet married, but I was married. By then. Then they told him that I didn't have children because I took long to have kids. I spent seven years in my marriage without a child because he was happy that I sang. Then he told my wife because they knew each other. He said, I was hurt. How can he sing like that without a child? And I was not saved. We would sing. And then we would go outside. We would not have money for beer. We would go for traditional alcohol. And get drunk. And then I got saved in 2000. In the month of July. On third, it was on Monday, around nine and ten. I think it was around nine. I got saved when I'd spent the night in a bar where the bishop was studying. 
That's where I was teaching. Spent the night in the bar till morning. I went home through a ride of people I didn't know. When I got home at 10 in the evening, on Monday, in the morning at those times, God sent a pastor. Wherever I see him, I, have, I rejoice. I don't know what to tell him. I once told his child, do you love your father as I love him? And I love that as with fellowship. I want him to do all of that. When he doesn't do that, I feel like it's not him. He's the one that we all love. He came on that morning. On Sunday, my wife went there. They were fellowshipping. In the, in the, God told me to come and rescue in your home. I will come in the morning. Then he came. They woke me up. They said someone is wanting to you. Reverend, what the reverend told you, I had 42 kilos. I was very strict. I don't know who that man was. And he stood up and he said, he says, this is the one that God showed me. And then he asked me, can you allow me to pray for you? I said yes. And then he prayed for me. That's how I was saved. I spent the night in a bar. My programs continued. I had my cigar in my pocket. My heart had convinced me that I will die with it. Because nothing would take me away from it. I tell people even now, I said the God that made me leave cigarettes, he will make me leave any other sin. Any other sin. What's essential is to know that it's a sin. When I say I do not want it, and I tell God, I will leave it. He's the one who burnt my cigar. <laughs> He, he had to pay for it. That, that is what I told you. It's what I'm going to talk about and it's what I'm going to say even after. I do not agree with my heart that there are people who have been circumcised in that way. When Paul said we have been circumcised the right way, there's no one who is circumcised and there's no blood shed. When you're separated from me, we there was intense circumcision. If you have not been circumcised, if you have not bled, for you to be separated with that thing, it won't happen. 
Now you're not stinging. That is what. It's what I keep on telling you. I think well. That what some things that we do. We do it after the playground. The playground initially. S- is not the one that we live in. Come back with thanksgiving. I asked myself, I asked myself, is there a Christian who doesn't thank God? I asked myself, is there Christians who live without thanking God? Wow! Some, there are are some, many of them. Many. Many Christians. How? How? It doesn't require a keyboard. It doesn't require a choir. It doesn't require a church. There's nothing required. It doesn't require practice. You don't have to create. It doesn't require a language. It requires you to play from your heart. There's this old man that I keep talking about. They talk about his story. But there's another old man that you told me about his stories. He went, he went to visit him after war. And then when they reached there, we're coming to comfort you with the battles that you fought. And the other said, thank you. In our culture, no one asks about the news when you have not given someone food. They first talked about other things when the wife was preparing food. When they brought food, they ate. After eating, I came to ask about the news of the war. How God saved you. The other said, God bless you. Let's pray a little bit. Then I will give you the story. Praise God. If God would give you the spirit of wisdom, for you to know, you would thank God every time. And he turned towards the room at the corner. The one that looks at the bed. Don't think it's far. The bed was near. And then he looked around. And then he knelt. The other was sitting. And then he knelt down as well. He said, thank God. He started praying. He told me. He felt that he was descending and descending and descending when then he was crossing and then he was going up. When he got somewhere, they heard the woman opening the door. They thought that she was going out. When they looked, they saw that he was mourning. When he has only said, let's just thank God. And so that he may tell him a story. When they opened the door, it was morning already. There's no Christian who cannot thank God. There's no place where you cannot thank God from. 
Wari wagenda? Can you, have you been in a place? Ukumvura shaka gutandukana nabandi. And you want to be separated with others. Ureba handu wakwikuma gatoya. So that you may take some private time. Ngube ngushima. And thank God. Chibisaba sente. It doesn't require a keyboard. Chibisaba igitaramo. It doesn't require a fellowship. Icham. If only. Icham. If only God would give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, we would keep praising God. Because of time and the other programs, and forgive me, let it not be a culture so that I will leave as if there are other things. First of all, I'm going back home in Musanze. And you know how the time is going. If you would give me the... Let it not make you sin. May God bless you. I've done it many times. You'd think it's my culture. I am asking for forgiveness. May God bless you. I'm going to talk to you about a little small things about the words that we read. I would have told you about Thanksgiving in five ways. Let me only talk about two. When we get time, I will talk about three, the third. We'll speak of others next time. Thanking God. It's a sign of unity of a man and God. Thanking God. It's a sign of unity between man and God. In other words, in other words, communion. They t- communion. communion. It is intertwining. It is becoming one. Heaven comes down. The world goes up. And they become one. They become one. David said, Your throne is surrounded with praises. Praise God. The throne of God. When we talk about surrounding, you don't, it's not just going around. The throne of God, the living place of God, is in praises. Amen. Hallelujah. One man called Merlin. He was chaplain. He was a chaplain. He was a military in, in Vietnam. Then. Then he, wrote, he wrote the book called The Power of Praise. The Power of Worship. Then he was revealed that the seat of God is in praise and worship. Then one day, he gives examples. There's one example that makes me happy. There was a woman, wife of, after they got married, they took the man at war in Vietnam. After he reached there, the wife waited. And it took long. She missed her husband. And her heart told her that the husband will die. That they won't see each other again. And then she had pain. She she decided to take drugs in order to forget the husband. She became like crazy because of drugs. One day she went at the airport. She said, I'm going to Vietnam. When they looked at her, she looked crazy. Then they took her, she, she left when she arrived, they brought the husband. They after, after seeing the husband, the husband was in a rush. He told her he was and then she left. And then the pain and the sorrow, the, the sorrow became many. 
Then they brought Merlin that there was a woman who was crazy. He told her, I have an answer for you. She said, tell me what you're going to do. He said, I'm going to bring him for you. He said, bring him. This is what we're going to do. We're going to tell God, thank you because you chose this man for me. He's the only one who has a secret for your life. That woman stood up about to fight him. He told her, you can't understand it. But we mar- you married this man through the plan of God. And for you to understand it, we have to praise him because he chose him for you. As he was talking to her, the wife didn't want to hear him at first. He said, let me pray. He prayed. He said, you God, you're a powerful God. Your throne is around praises. I thank you because this man married that man. I thank you because of the problems you faced. I thank you because it was wow. in your plan. Wow! Wow! Hallelujah. Wow. Ah. Hallelujah. Ah. The woman was crying. She was mighty. She had the, the cigarettes. But then she started getting weaker and weaker. He looked at her. He praised God. This, thank you because she was created in your plan. And then he went. The woman was kneeling. She was crying. Hallelujah. She gave a testimony. He said, when you're praying, I saw a letter that convinces me that that is my husband. Do you see, when I was crying, it's not what you were saying. I saw what you did not say. I am ready to get married with my husband. With my new husband. In the morning, where the man went, they gave him, they, they said, we heard that you have a problem. Go solve that problem. When he arrived, he was a new wife. The wife was new. He said, my husband, go work and with peace, with peace in your heart. God knew exactly that you were supposed to be my husband. Mm, praise. It's a sign of communion with man and God. You should read the word of God. A man called Abraham. When God, when they got tested him, he said, Abraham, this only son that you love, that's what the Bible says, your only son that you love, I want you to sacrifice him. Abraham, then Abraham said, do, do you think what's, that's what's necessary? He said, it's okay. In the morning, he said, let's go. Isaac left. They spent three days. The Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity, the fullness of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. He was filling the names of God. Three days. Three days. Praise God. Let me tell you the reason why it's not on God. The problem is with you. Because it's waiting on you to keep praying until the last minute. Until the last minute. He wants you to keep praying. But you're praying one year, one month, and you think you're done. Three days. 
carrying a child who will die. He would look at him. He would tell him, Yes, I will respect you. On the second day, he said, Are you not? Yes, he did not change his mind. On the third day, on the third day, I want you to stay on that. On the third day, he told his servants, He says, Stay here. Me and Isaac were going to pray the French Bible. We are going to worship. We are going to worship. He did not say I'm going to sacrifice. He said I'm going to worship. I am going to worship. Hallelujah. I don't know if you're listening to me. Your only son that you love, you walk with him for three days, you're going to kill him, and then you tell people, we're going to worship God. Then Isaac says, we have the, the trees, we have everything. Where is the son of the lamb? We're going to praise God. Don't have a problem. Isaac. Then Isaac, he was 17 years. In his father, he was 117 years. He was an old man, very old man. And when they reached there, I am amazed. The things of God, we don't know it. That is why we don't worship him. We can't thank him. Let me tell you, thanking God, it doesn't come from outside. It doesn't come with the No. No. Way. It doesn't require music. It doesn't require death or joy. It is joy that comes from the within you. Abraham had it. Heaven had come down. He had fellowship with Abraham. They had become one. Hallelujah. Barubak. They built. They built an altar where they were sacrificing. Isaac built it himself. He said, "Bring that wood." You did not do that. Well. They built it together. He was just singing in his heart. Hallelujah. <laughs> There was no games. He was in a fellow worship. Isaac was dying. Abraham was praising God. And then he made him lay down. The Bible says he tied him. His young man, he was tied with an old man. He accepted it. I told it my What made Isaac stay humble is a child who had been taught it by the father. He's a child of a Christian. They tied him. Sleep, lay on this altar. See how worship connects heaven and earth. When he was about to cut him with his words, the Lord 
Your throne is surrounded by praises. Lord, your throne is surrounded by praises. There is nothing that makes God stand up from his head. A praise is from the heart. Thanksgiving from the heart. God came to the rescue. He came to the rescue. He stood up from his feet because they had shook him. They had spoke about him. Hallelujah. Praise God. He took his heart. There's nothing that makes God stand up from his seat except from praising him and from the heart. Not the one from the body. He said from today this child he's becoming a nation. I don't know if it's you that I told. Abraham, when he's coming down with Isaac, he did not come back with the Isaac that he took. The Bible he took, he brought him like he was resurrected. He brought a new Isaac. He brought a new Isaac. Because the, new, the first one, he was dead in the heart. The one that he brought, he was a new Isaac. The Hebrews says, the faith of Abraham, he made him being brought back as the one who was resurrected. The, the second, praise Worship is a sign of revelation. Do you understand? I, I'm telling you the truth. If we would be revealed who Christ is, whatever is possible, you would do it for his glory whatever it is that's in your power last Sunday we were in place in Changuku we were with a brother they had the program of building and then we talked and we talked and before we closed he said they have an envelope of $500 to support the construction he gave it I don't know what happened we kept having a conversation he said I know that you have a debt he said yes say how much he said one million and three hundred he said before we leave this he said I'm going, he's, she's going to send a million I'm going to give you the 300 he left with having given a million and eight hundred the next week he said I'm going to give you the 300 he invited that same person. He came. Since last time, even now the building is still in Now this is another thousand dollars. When you have been revealed, you, there's no time that you want to be praising God. And then that Sunday, God had given me the word Christ Christ He is the only one who is unknown. Christ Let me tell you Bishop I am before God Many people they don't know Christ. He is not uh, he's unknown. The greatest unknown. But when you have the chance and he reveals himself to you, you, you will not have enough praise. You will not have enough praise. 
Abanyabwenge the wise ones bari yo burasirazuba they were in the east igihebicaye when they were sitting they saw a star they said that's one is special they followed it when they were in Judah where there were the promises they found everyone sitting they were at the market Things were complicated. They asked them, Umwami wa Buyuda. Wavutsa ri hehe. Who is where the, the king of Jews who has been born? Muruvi chakindu. Do you hear that? Abayuda bafite amasezerano. The Jews have promises. Bari mu gusoma Bibiliya buri munsi. They read the Bible every day. Christ was born, they didn't know what happened. The wise men who were foreigners, they saw a star. They saw a star. They say that one is special. They followed it. When they arrived in Judea, they asked, we have news. They said, what's that? We saw a star. They said, we, the stars are but we saw a star. They say, are you mad? But we saw a star. Do you see how people say when they have been revealed? They saw the usual and see the unusual things. Christ is special who is shown in the usual. Christ is very special but is Shown in the normal. Hallelujah. They saw the stars. But then they say we saw a star. If only you could see the star. Praise. It's a sign of revelation. It's not, it has nothing to do with songs. It has nothing to do with dancing. It has nothing to do with preaching. <sighs> Do you know one who said that? Is a man who had been revealed. He knew that his body was the money has no value. He said, What I've seen, what I own, and myself, it's for the Savior. But we sing that. They say, let's go, and then they, they are left out. We sing that. What I own and myself, all of you who lie, liars, can you sing that? My possessions and myself. But a person who has been revealed, this wise king, and they told Herod, he started shaking. The king is born. Say, tell me where he's going to be born from. He said, here in Bethlehem. 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 He said, go. The Bible says they went. Christ, he's special. He's shown in the normal. Do you know where they found him? Do you know where they found him? In the manger. A normal, simple manger. It's a normal. The cows put dung in it. But that's where Jesus was born. The manger is normal. But he was keeping the special. Except revelation. Except revelation. You will know something has happened. When you say it's a king, he will laugh at you. 
Mumuvure. Which king is born in a manger? The wise men. They gave him valuable offerings. Gold. The good perfume. Hallelujah. They praised God. The last praising it's a song of the saved. Let's close here. Let me thank you. People of God, we have a reason to be thankful. Let me tell you, we have a reason to thank God. I don't know if you're thinking, Paul, he wrote to the Ephesians, said, praise God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He had planned since long ago to make us children. He planned it long ago to make us children. And then he took Jesus, his only begotten son. He put in him everything that we need. He filled in him everything that we need. And then he said, everyone who will believe in you, they will be standing in your place and you will stand in their place. Come back. Come here. Let's go to the next We have a reason to be grateful. He has a quote. This is a child of God. You, you were these ones. And him, he is from heaven. And that's why God had him alone. This one, he was born from, all of those who were born from Adam. Whether they did good or right, whether they come from Adam, they were cursed. And God said and told this one because I have loved the people on earth do you hear me? Because I have loved them what are we going to do? He so said what everything they are cursed. See the sins they have committed. They have despised me. They have enthroned the devil. And the where they are going, they are going to be destroyed. Can you help them? The son says, I'm ready. He said, let's see what happens. Here in the store, we have forgiveness. Here in the store, we have life. Here in the store, we have peace. He filled in it. He filled it in him. And then he said, Come down. He went down. Hallelujah. There's a writer who says the reason why the angels came down to see they wanted to see God wearing the human body. They wanted to see how men were in the 
I told you praising God it's a song of the saints the angels did not have the ones to welcome me they were the ones to sing they brought a heavenly choir when it came down the glory be to God and peace to the ones that rejoice in him and then he filled him he filled in him everything And then nothing we kept or going on with our lives. Hallelujah. This one, he left that. He came, he came in his dirt. He came into that store, the store that they brought. He did not work for it. This one, the Bible says he became cursed. And his father no longer talked to him. Kuvigere <laughs> He became cursed. This one became holy. He became a child of God because he accepted. I'm going to give the time to Bishop to pray. If you see that, is there a reason that could stop you from praising God? If there's one who has received that, even in these streets you would go right. We know how to. Niva Kubaza, Nikuki Wuzu Yibjishimo, Nawengu Zababire. Yeso angiriye neza niba kubaza nikuki wuzu ya mahoro nawe nguzababwire Yeso angiriye neza dufite impamvu yo gushima We have a reason to be grateful Ijambo uyu munsi kabiyanyu If only it could be yours Twese tukagurukira rimwe We will stand up together and praise God Ariko niba utari muri uwo murongo But if you're not in that line It is not possible Ntabwo dushima kuko hashiza meza ngahe You can't thank God because no, it's been months Even in the few minutes Even those who died did Ariko not Ariko kubera ko twahawe ubugingo bw'ijuru Because we have the eternal life Even now we're of heaven we will be of heaven. We have a great reason. We have a mighty reason. We have a great reason. We have a great reason. Hallelujah. Manishim. Praise God. I want us as we enter this new year let's enter as vessels of praise and worship. The life of Christ in us 
It's greater than money and possessions. It's greater than work and children. Job once said, you wait for him in the right. He come on the left. You look for him in the children. He comes when they have died. You look for him in the riches. When you're poor, you find him. Where you find, you look for him, that's not where he is. It's for his life in you. In, on Christmas, there's a man who told us, he told about the prayer of Jesus. He said, I pray for these ones. Even their descendants. Even everyone who will be saved because of them. And he prayed for them. And that man told us, it is a, a store that Jesus put for us. It's a store for us. Whoever, everyone goes to pay. If you go for one money, if you want everything, he asked for us, his prayer is enough. But to, to those who have the light, to those who have that light, I ask you, that's why I'm asking the bishop, Sometimes I preach like this. Some people want to give their lives to Christ. Or some want to repent. And I don't get that time to say it. That's why I was going to ask him to do it for me. But it is possible. Because sometimes God has done for you. You have a reason to praise God. Sometimes you're praising when you do not deserve to be praising. Because you praise from the basis of the life that you've received. If you want to come back to Christ today, Nurukundo rwa Yesu Kubaturiho Undo bwayo gayo Kubaturiho Nurukundo rwa Yesu Kuba Kubaturiho No bunu gayo Kubaturiho Kubaturiho Nurukundo rwa Yesu Yesu if you're here, you can stand up and we pray for you. Thank you. Thank you. Omusai, Guayeso, Gomala. <laughs>